Today we're going to go over how to make physical buttons in VR that you can press down that are low cost and work pretty good. Okay, let's make a physical button for your VR game. First, we're going to open up our content drawer by hitting control space and we're going to go to the VR template. In here, we're going to find our blueprints and open up our VR pod. We're going to click on hand left and we're going to go to add and put a box collision on this. I'm not going to change the name of it. We're going to do the same thing for the right hand. And then we're going to scale it down. I find that 0.1 is good. We're going to do that for both as well. Make sure the lock is on so that way it does 0.1 across the entire board. We're then going to switch our grid snap to 5 and move our box down one along the Y axis. Now we could be fancy and like make sure that it's exactly the same size as the hand and feel free to do that. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to leave it like this. We're gonna hit compile and save and then we can close out the VR pawn. I'm going to delete the guns so that way we have space on our table. I'm then going to open up our content drawer again I'm going to go to content. I'm going to make a new folder that's called blueprints. Eh, let's call it my blueprints. And because I'm crazy, I'm gonna change the color of it to blue, just so it sticks out. Let's make a new blueprint class, actor, and let's call this BP button. Open that up. We're just going to keep it basic, so let's go ahead and grab a cube. And we'll call that cube button base. Let's then make sure that we have our scale locked and make this 0.2. And then unlock our scale. Uh, I guess you probably don't even have to do that. And then just scale this down so we have a nice little like rectangle thing going on just so the vertical isn't as high. Then we're going to add another cube, and we're gonna call this button. We are not going to link button to base. It's fine if it's separate object, but we do wanna make sure that we lock our scale again and drop this down to 0.1. I'm gonna hit W so that way I can move it. And I'm just gonna bring it up a little bit. Now it's a little bit hard to see right now, so I always like to put some kind of material on here that's different. Uh, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to make it red, because who doesn't like a giant red button, right? Now one more thing we have to do in the viewport is we have to, with the button selected in our components, add a box collision. And this one we just want to lock our scale and drop that down to 1. Ah, let's make it 1.5. There we go. And we want to move it so its center is on the top of the button and the major or half of it is outside of the button above it. And that's basically everything we have to do in the viewport. So let's go ahead and compile and save uh, and open up our event graph. Now we can delete these two, but we do want to work with the event begin play. But before we do that, let's go down to our variables. We're going to make a new variable and we're going to call it button start. We're going to switch this to a vector. And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab our button. We're going to drag out the pin and we're going to get relative location. Once we have relative location, we're going to bring out button start and we're going to set button start at event begin play. And we can just connect this to that. I'm going to turn these into cute little hats. And then this section is done. So all that we're doing here is at the start of the game, we're going to check to see relatively where the button is. Now down here, we're going to right click on our box collision, add event, add begin overlap. So now we have an add begin overlap on our box. We're gonna drag out from other actor and we're going to check to make sure that it's our VR pawn. So we're gonna cast a VR pawn. Once we have confirmed that it's our VR pawn, we're going to take button drag that down and we are going to move component two. 
We'll then attach this to move. And now down here, we have the target relative location. We're going to drag out button start. We're just going to get it. And we're going to minus or subtract, I suppose. And I find that five is a pretty good amount for what we've built so far. Um, obviously, you can change this as much as you need to, depending on the size of your button. We're then going to attach that to our target relative location. You can also mess with over time in order to get a faster or slower click on the button. All right, we're almost there. That's everything to make the button go down. We're going to select all of this, control C, control V, and then grabbing our box collision again, we're going to add event on end overlap, drag that up. We're going to just reattach this where it was. And we're going to delete this and have it go back to button start. So this, that's it. And now if we hit compile and save, we can go back to our VR template, open up our content drawer, bring in BP button, drop it into the world, file save because Unreal Engine 5.3 is a little bit finicky. Um, so if it crashes, it crashes. And then we can hit run. And there you have it. We can teleport over to our button and we can press it down. And then you can do things to check to see if the location of the button's position is far enough down to activate whatever you needed to activate. And that's all.